So this evening, my daughter, Vanessa Helnervorn, and I will be performing one movement from Grieg's very, very famous Peer Gynt Suite, and we will be doing Anitra's dance tonight. Um, Vanessa is a third year, well, she just finished her third year at the University of Chicago as a biochemistry, chemistry double major, and she is, has been playing violin since first grade, First grade. <laughs> so it's been a few years. <laughs> so without further ado, we will play Anitra's dance. Thank you. 
before I play this lovely piece by Elnes um, that I'm going to perform for the very first time for you all um, this evening. I want to thank Marla for having me um, as a guest tonight for this concert. It's been very fun to put together these two um, song sets and especially to get to know um, the music of these two composers. Um, they're wonderful and um, very underperformed um, in my opinion. Um, the romance um, uh, you'll find is lyric, it is expressive, it's full of um, some very um, kind of poetic, harmonic moments, and just a very tender and wonderful um, small piano piece. So I hope you enjoy. It.
as I said, you will hear a little different mood to some of these songs. Um, I, I did write about uh, Ivan Almas in my dissertation, and I, nowhere did I find any indication that he was a sad person, but his music tends to just have a bit more of a serious tone to it, and I'm not sure if that is somehow connected to his work as a church musician or, or what it could be. And as we progress through this set of songs, they do get a little more joyful as we, as we move along. So the first ones will be a little bit more serious, including this first one, which is a folk song setting, uh, as we began with Grindel, uh, called Yai Lam de Mai So Sindhi, and then the following are all his own compositions. So this is a group by Ivan Alnis.
For these last three pieces, which are the entirety of his Opus 17, I wanted to first of all thank you all for coming and also invite you to join us down to the left in the fellowship hall for some cake. We are celebrating birthdays after all, so there's cake. Uh, I wanted to just mention that these three pieces, in, in my discussion of him not being a sad person, uh, he himself said that he wrote these three pieces um, as sort of a an out, creative outburst that came from the joy of having his first child. And although none of these songs are about children, the first one is a love song. The second one is about a sailor contemplating his last journey to heaven. And then the final one is another love song. But these, he said himself, came out of that joyful spirit from the birth of his son. So I hope you enjoy these three last pieces from uh, Ivan Ellis's Opus 17. And again, thank you so much for being here this evening. Sweet. 